They did, you know, 40 minute zone, you know, which is unusual for Euroleague, honestly, you know, like you, you never see this. How would you react if someone face guarded you for the whole duration of the game? Mad you didn't have enough shots or complimented because playing box in one is a recognition of your insane skill? That's a treatment only special ones get, but in recent years, it actually worked wonders for those teams that implemented it. Now, all the recent fuss about playing box in one started when Alba Berlin deployed it for all 40 minutes against Mike James. For those of you who don't know, it's a hybrid defensive system where four players stand in a box formation and defend their individual zones, while one person is responsible for staying attached to what usually is the most dangerous opponent's offensive player. Curly or Matisek, the youngster. Excellent defense, but the idea is to completely neutralize the leader of the band by following him even if he goes to the bathroom and forcing him to score against two or even three people when he has the ball in his hands. For Alba, this part of the plan worked perfectly. James was limited to single digits in points and field goal attempts for the first time this season in 15 games. Despite that, they still lost by 3, which is a good result considering the enormous gap of talent between the two clubs and the fact that they played away, but it was the drawbacks of such tactic that prevailed them from winning. Against Box and one it is super easy to create open three-point shots for others. Yes, occasionally it might influence the team's offensive rhythm and there will be confusion on the court, still, patience and good spacing will almost always guarantee an open shot for others. Teams who decide to use box and one basically say, we rather see Blossom Game or Diallo shoot open freeze and live with the result, rather than seeing Mike James put up tough shots and still finish with 25 points. Well, sometimes it's like he's got the ball tied to his fingers by a string. Also, the middle area of the box is a major weak point. It's relatively easy for the big to receive the ball there, as we see here, with Monaco executing a well-designed play after the timeout. James was unhappy because Alba took box and one to extreme levels playing it for 40 minutes. But since Mike is equivalent to Steph Curry in Europe, I see nothing wrong with admitting that your players are not good enough to defend him one on one. And even with all the disadvantages of box and one we just talked about, this tactic has left its footprints in many major basketball events lately, proving its efficiency repeatedly. Yes, these teams used it for shorter periods of various games, but the most famous example comes from the 2019 NBA Finals where Toronto Raptors and coach Nick Nurse utilized it against Steph Curry. Down 10 with 5 minutes to go in game 2, they went to box and won and almost got the comeback for the ages. The Warriors scored 3 points in the final 9 possessions against the atypical defense as the Rafters were fingertips away from stealing this ball in the last second. Curry throws it, Livingston has it, back to Iguodala, Iguodala puts it up, it's gone! Seeing the success it brought, Nurse, with Sergio Scariolo as his assistant, used box and won more extensively later in the series. The circumstances were also perfectly aligned. Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant were injured for significant parts of this series, leaving Steph to do too much by himself. That's when Box and One becomes extremely useful, when a team is too dependent on one player. It forces others to get out of their comfort zone and maybe take shots they're not used to taking. Acting as team's first option in the fourth quarter has a certain weight on it, and not everyone is ready to jump into such a role immediately, especially when the stakes are so high. That's exactly Exactly what Box and One asked from the Warriors role players, as Curry was somewhat limited in games 2, 4, and 6, where Nurse used this weird defense. Curry dancing and prancing, poked away from behind by Danny Green. The same box and one defense was a hot topic in this year's Eurobasket as well. It was the main factor as to why Spain, led by Hello Don Sergio again and Lorenzo Brown, managed to write a Cinderella story and win gold when nobody predicted it. With single elimination games not going their way, Scariolo turned to box and one three times in the fourth quarter, against Lithuania, Germany and France in the final. All three times the opponent's best player didn't touch the ball for multiple minutes and saw his country go down to, let's say, a team with less overall talent. By the veteran. Look at that. Erna Gomez knocks it away. Also, just a couple of weeks ago, Virtus Bologna, now coached by Scariolo, also had a very promising opponent on the same night when Alba played Monaco. They were facing Maccabi led by Brown, who were up by 7 with 4 minutes to go. I think you know where this is going by now. Scariolo threw the last lifeline with Cordinier all over Brown and witnessed Maccabi's ship sink. You would think after all summer of practicing and using the box and one defense in the games, Brown would know 
know how to be efficient against it, but Maccabi's go-to guy did not have a single field goal attempt in the last 4 minutes and Virtus won by 5. With Brown out of the picture, Virtus took away Maccabi's biggest certainty and light. Odette Katash and the other 4 players did not react in time, proving once again the crazy efficiency of box and one. Through the hands of Bonzi Colson. Airball the jump shot. Lastly, let's go back to James. He probably does not remember it, but his own team, Panathinaikos at the time, used it once against the young Shane Larkin in the 2016-17 season. Basconia were surprised by such a defensive choice to start the game, fell into a 6-24 deficit after first quarter, and the game was never in doubt again. Did it mean they weren't good enough to defend Larkin individually? Or Chavi Pascual simply thought it was a good way to limit his greatness? And since we have come full circle in this video, let me know in the comments what do you think about the box and one defense and the reaction it got from Mike James. Was he right that it's ridiculous to play it for 40 minutes after all the success we saw in this video? Also, please like and share the video as it helps us grow and I'll see you in the next one.